Yes, girl, yes, let it breathe, let it breathe. Hello, it's Laiva, how are you? So as most of you may know, I have been wigging it for a while and I'm absolutely loving it. It's been especially beneficial over the summer because it's not a weave. On a day when it's too hot, I could choose not to wear this bad girl and just let my natural hair breathe. But I wanted to share with you some of the benefits that I've been finding about wearing a wig and how I've still been caring for my natural hair under this. So my routine actually has not changed. I'm still doing my weekly rinses and um, co-washing and cleansing and all that sort of stuff. It hasn't changed at all. So um, once a week I will co-wash and once a month I will cleanse my hair and give it a really good deep conditioning. In between that I might choose to do a treatment here or there. One of the treatments I was doing for a while is onion juicing. This helps to promote new hair growth. I have a full video on this if you haven't already watched it. I leave it on for about 30 minutes but for best results it should be done at least once a week for a minimum of two to three months. It is quite extreme and the smell is uh yeah but if you don't want to do that you could just simply stick to your regular deep conditions as long as you are consistent, your hair should be fine. I'm still waiting for my Alternatively, you can do hot oil treatments once a month using coconut oil and any other oils you may have in your cupboards. This is supposed to help promote shine and keep your hair feeling nice and soft. Put the oils in an applicator like this, then place the oils in a bowl of hot water, allow it to melt and then apply it to your hair. My favourite braid pattern under my wigs is to do five to six big cornrows going all the way back and one at the front as you can see here. This is for my leave out if I choose to have one. Of course I do like to cheat sometimes and do flat twists instead because they are quicker and easier. Sometimes I even just do two strand twists all around my head and bun it up at the back. Everything else has pretty much been the same. It's just that my hair has been covered during the day and when I'm going out. The beauty of it, and I think it's really important, is that if you do wear wigs, to keep in mind the combs that you use because sometimes the combs can cause more damage than good. And you may find that the combs, like these combs are quite tight. And I find that it sometimes it just... The tension is too much so sometimes I just slap it on my head and I don't actually have the combs in so be careful don't snatch my hair because that would be a disaster. Sometimes I just literally put it on my head like a hat and it's all right if I'm not going too far or I'm not doing anything whereby hopefully nobody should ever pull my hair off. I always wear a wig cap underneath my wigs. This is to protect my natural hair from the wig the makeup of the wig itself so that any friction from the lace and whatnot doesn't cause rubbing and essentially tear my hair apart and cause breakage a better way to protect your hair is to use maybe a satin or silk cap underneath your um your wig rather than a regular wig cap about of course this is the one that I actually wear to bed but you can double up on these and get loads and have one for your daytime and one for your nighttime. The material from the wig caps are actually quite drying and they absorb moisture and that's not really what you want to do. You want to retain that moisture so you can choose to wear a silk cap underneath your wig instead. The downside to that is that if you wear a silk or a satin cap, whichever, um, they are not very breathable and it doesn't allow your scalp to breathe. And that's, a, so you've got like a hat on a hat on a hat. That can cause another problem. So even though you're trying to retain moisture, you also want your scalp to breathe. So it's almost a bit like a catch-22, but it, it's really up to what you prefer. That's something to consider. 
Alternatively, you can choose to sew a satin scarf to your actual wig so it's just attached to it. But again, even though you are protecting your hair, it also creates the same problem of not being that breathable because the fibres are very tight and close together. So it doesn't allow your hair and scalp to breathe that much. So it's really up to you what you think will work best and be more beneficial for you. But that's something to think about. Or you can use a regular wi wig cap and actually get air to your scalp but have moisture being taken away a little bit. So that's something to think about. Also, another thing I love about wearing a wig is as soon as I step through the door, and especially if I know I'm done for the day, I'm not doing anything, I could just whip this bad girl off. I'm at home, if nobody minds, it's the real me. Um, I could just whip it off and let my hair breathe. And the beauty of it is the sooner you take your wig off, the better to still allow your natural hair to breathe and you still want to take care of it. Don't neglect the hair underneath. Also, of course, it gives me easy access during the day and night and whilst even if I'm sitting down on my laptop or watching TV, I could spend that time literally just massaging my scalp properly and getting the sebaceous glands flowing just because my hands have easy reach to my head. But yeah, those are some of the tips that I've been doing to look after my hair underneath my wig. I'd love to know if you are wigging it and what are some of the things that you do as part of your routine and what is your most favourite thing about wearing a wig. Of course, it um, one of my most favourite things is it almost like gives you a different personality like you could have straight hair and curly hair and you know afro hair it's kind of cool that way but thank you so much for watching and until my next video think smart work hard make it happen bye hey this is the real me yes girl yes let it breathe let it breathe <laughs> Can we talk about this emotional breakdown that I almost had in reception classroom? I had to just leave. Gets 